Well, I might have faxed to Mars. And here's an interesting story. Antarctica's top secret Area 51 uncovered. It's actually called Area 122. Uh, apparently it's not an air base. That would be a little difficult to build uh, down there. And here's a picture of the big uh, ball, disco-shaped, disco-like ball, perched on top of a hill. And you see part of the building. An Australian uh, New Zealand journalist has come across top secret government lab in the South Pole dubbed Antarctica Area 51. Like I said, it's called, it's actually Area 122. The Rifle Heights Laboratory base is hidden deep in an Antarctic mountain range. Uh, Zone known as Specially Protected Area ASPA or Area 122, and topped with a bizarre disco ball like orb. Grounds in the mysterious scientific f facility are patrolled by military officials 24 7, and visitors need official security clearance to enter. Well, at least uh, security's not as tight as it is in Area 51, but. <laughs> of course, it doesn't have to be, because you freeze, freeze to death before you ever get to it. And journalist Brianna Barraclo, who got a chance to see the inner workings of Secretive Center for News Hub Investigation, says she half expected to find aliens hidden below the ice. First thing you notice is a strange-looking building off in the distance, strongly resembling a giant disco ball. Brianna said, perched atop a ro rocky hill, it looks like something out of a sci-fi film. We can show you what's in there, choked one of the person I travel with, pointing the mysterious orb. I shouldn't have been surprised she works for the government. Rival Heights has been home to Kiwi scientists since 1959, and is based near America's McMurdo station, and other science research facility. Crunching over the rocks and snow, I was aware of what this visit signified. She said, I was taking a glimpse behind the curtains. Nothing was secret from a journalist to a mission. After seeing Disco Ball, I half expected to find aliens hidden beneath the ice. Brianna revealed some aspects of security at the station were surprisingly low-tech, with just a series of ropes and a red stop sign warning anyone without a permit to stay away. And she said, inside the bizarre green painted lab filled with an old-fashioned low-tech equipment during due to the remoteness of the location, visitors are warned not to breathe too heavily in case this upsets delicate experiments. As Brianna left, she noticed, she noticed another mysterious orb near, next to a pyramid-shaped mountain, was told what was not told what the orb contained. The lab itself was a simple container building. Off in the distance, this orb sits and watches. She said, "This goes on and on." Uh, well, interesting. The only we left to wonder and speculate what's in it. Frankly, it's on the lower half of this world. And New Zealand is a friend, so I'm not terribly concerned with this. Just an interesting story, that's all. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.